Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for August 31st, September 1st, you know, whenever, whatever the day is for you that you watch it. This is for all signs. It's just a daily energy. We're going to see what comes up. We're going to get a couple of these and one of those, and then we're going to break into that deck, and we're going to get one of those at the end. So this is a daily energy for the 31st, the 1st of September, you know, the 31st of August, whatever, okay? Or, you know, the timing is fluid, so whenever this resonates, this is what I'm picking up on today. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. And it's funny because before I per turned on this reading, I saw the subscribers, my subscribers, obviously, you know, I check out my YouTube all the time, and it was 73333, Your prayers have been heard. Your prayers have been heard by heaven. Seven's a number from heaven. Your prayers have been heard. Calling in your soulmate. Beautiful. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Now, this has been an ongoing theme. So, this is a real time of forgiveness. Whether it's your parents, your uh friends or your partner it is a time of forgiveness because you have to forgive and allow yourself to move on freely to call in your soulmate you really really do let's get one of these this time well I guess that's it see what it did landed right there <laughs> love love is the foundation of your existence and you're just as worthy of receiving as you are of giving love and compassion while love can be a beautiful emotion it is equally a form of energy that propels you through life you are re worthy of receiving. Just as worthy as receiving as you are of giving. And when you know your worth, you are able to call in your soulmate more effectively. That's the truth. Yeah, this is uh, putting in effort, working hard after a rejection of some sort, working hard to bring stability back to your life, things are unharmonious. You may have been in a one-sided situation, or you may still be in a one-sided situation. But, whatever the case is, there is, you deserve more. You deserve more, and that's why this card came up. Somebody's been holding on to something that is a dead end. The universe sees that it's a dead end. And the universe sees what you deserve, even though you might not know what you deserve. Somebody is resisting 
the release out of fear of the unknown. But it's it's time to start the healing process. It's it's time to let that healing go up to another level. It's an it's like it's the end of a difficult time if you release. Somebody has been working really hard at healing and, and releasing and letting go. They have. There's still one more thing, though, that needs to go. There is. There's some one, like, one more thread that needs to be cut or something, or this would be upright. But these are mirroring each other. Somebody has putting, been putting a lot of effort into healing. And I have to go with what's mirroring each other. Okay? Somebody doesn't doesn't know what they deserve they've they've been living in an unharmonious spot where things have been unbalanced because of fear of the unknown fear of letting go fear of release fear of transition there's probably been a rejection from another person which is is sparked this healing but the tower which is a universe card the tower the fate may step in. And help you to see the light a little bit more. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Okay, well, we have a contradiction here, of course. But I know exactly what this is, so we're going to get to it in just a minute. Yeah, heaven has stepped in. Heaven has stepped in. Let me just make sure that this is zoomed in or focused or whatever somebody has been in a false contract false foundation false contract thinking that this is what they deserved thinking that this was the one thinking that you know this was the love of their life when there was somebody else and that's exactly what this is that's why this there's there's an incompatibility here with one situation the tower sees it Fate has stepped in. They've asked you to release. Uh, somebody wants to have a, a relationship with you or they're waiting to come in and have a relationship with you. They're waiting for you to turn your back on a dead-end situation. The universe may be waiting for you to turn your back on this dead-end situation before you bring, they bring you this divine partnership. There is a new opportunity for love here. But it's not with who you think it is, okay? It's with somebody new. It's It's a blessing from heaven. Um, this is something that will lead to a lot of happiness. This person will love you for who you are. This person will love the skin that you're in. They won't come in and ask you to change. Um, this is something that you have been waiting for, and I can see that you are probably reluctant. I think that you've probably waited quite some time for this, but you didn't take the steps that you needed to prove that um, you were you were healed, that you were you were not holding on to the sorrow um but in here you're you're letting go of the sorrow you've been putting in a lot of work to let go of the hurt to let go of the sadness and i feel like now you may realize that there's another opportunity maybe the faith that has been lost in this dead end in dead end situation is starting to be restored so it feels like there is a new opportunity for love and you know i think that it is something you may not think that you deserve this new love because whoever you were dealing with in the past really shook up your inner foundation they did they shook up your feelings about yourself they caused you to feel conflicted you know they caused you to feel like you weren't worthy and i feel like whoever this person that you've been calling in is somebody that is going to really compliment you okay this person is going to give you compliments they're going to compliment you period but you know they're this person is somebody that you have been waiting for but i feel like you may be reluctant to actually close that door to whatever it is you've been holding on to i see the reluctance okay but fate is stepping in and bringing you you know, a new opportunity for love and you may, you know, some of you may refuse. You may refuse to see it and therefore, you know, there will continue to be tower moments until you do, but whatever. Um, 
And this is why healing issues, healing family issues came up. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents, you forgive, period. You have to forgive this past. You have to forgive the... <clears throat> You know, you have to let go of the regrets. You have to let go of the sorrow. You have, you need to allow yourself to open up your heart again. So I feel like there is an opportunity for a new partnership here with somebody new. Okay, because that's this is the end of one contract that leads to somebody new. It's a soulmate connection as well. And this is realizing that there's a new opportunity. The Five of Cups reverse. So... I think that somebody, this this is for a group of people who have realized that they were in a dead-end situation. It was a false foundation. It wasn't a solid contract. It was karmic. And now it's time to move on to somebody new. So I feel like that because those of you that have realized that, you've realized that there's another opportunity. You've been calling in your soulmate. And your soulmate is here. And your soulmate may not be the same, you know, culture as you. But this person is a dream come true. They really are. It's like, it is the answer to your prayers. It absolutely is. But some of you are still holding on to something that, you know, you always knew. Something that was stable for you, made you feel secure. And sometimes that's a protection tactic. You know, I'm going to protect what I have. I'm going to protect what I know. You've been protecting yourself from a new partnership. Because you didn't know what you deserve. You didn't know what you were worth. Dealing with, you know, a false, a false contract, okay? But it looks like somebody wants to work with you. Somebody wants to join with you. You know, somebody appreciates you. Somebody does. And maybe you're learning to appreciate yourself. Somebody's afraid of commitment. They're afraid to let this happiness grow for fear of being let down. You know, there's a there's a there is one situation that has left you very discontent. It's whatever you've been holding on to that was false. Whatever you've held on to that was just something to hold on to it wasn't no love. It was false. It wasn't strong. It wasn't concrete. And it left you feeling dis discontent and unhappy. Whoever you were dealing with probably wasn't committed. And that's why the contract is dissolving. But somebody's still holding on, like I said earlier, to that last thread. Ooh. So we have temptation, we have lies, we have manipulation, we have lust, we have, you know, tightly bound to something that doesn't serve you. So perhaps somebody has been controlled by their own demons. It feels like there's been a lot of, you know, lies. There has. I mean, what does the devil bring? The devil brings lies. The devil doesn't bring anything good. Karmic situations. Addictions, control, obsessions. And this is an obsession as well. You can free yourself at any time from this false contract. You can. But it's up to you to do it. <coughs> Somebody's refusing to take action though. Thinking about it instead of taking action. And you know, maybe this person can't head in until you do free yourself 
from a toxic situation. Somebody is really, really on the verge of releasing this false contract. Somebody's right at the edge. They are. They're right at the edge. When they do, they will call in that real soulmate. But right now, they're, they're feeling a little chaos, a little unbalanced, refusing to take steps forward. Somebody's making some poor decisions based on a false, look at where it is, poor decisions based on a false contract that they are karmically tied to and needs to be released. But what about the people that have released? A lot of people have. The, I can see here that somebody is putting a lot of effort into healing. It's like there's no communication coming in. There's no forward movement. I'm not really open because oh, that's the rods of love as well. And they're, it's reversed. It's like I'm not. Even though I'm healing, I'm not sure I'm ready. The time might not be now. Okay, I'm not sure that I'm ready to get into anything. Trying to be logical, trying to, you know, somebody may be feeling like they're, they're guarded. Their emotions are guarded. You think about the King of Swords. He's not very emotional, okay? He doesn't wear his heart on his sleeve. He doesn't, you know, show his raw emotions you know he doesn't like cry in public or any of that you know he's very um <clears throat> controlled so i feel like somebody is that's what's happening here somebody is really controlling their emotions at this time they are really you know closed off emotions not that he doesn't feel he feels but he keeps it to himself he's very logical he's very intelligent he's very intellectual and he's guarded scared you see the heart the sword is across his heart it really is it's like yeah I'm not sure I can let anybody in at this time but feeling really abundant so I think that the, right now somebody is working on themselves I, I'm working on me Working on my, my self-worth, my self-love, my abundance, enjoying life, working on my home, working on my job, working on everything but love at this time. And while you're doing this, I think it's not that you're not thinking about love because I see that you are. You're healing and you're feeling quite abundant with who you are. And I feel like while you are, you know, working on you and you're getting to this point of happy independence... You are probably calling in your soulmate because when you figure, like I said at the very beginning of this video, when you know your self-worth, I can't remember exactly what I said, but something about your self-worth. When you know your self-worth, that's when everything else falls into place. And this is, the, this is a card of self-worth. I know what I'm worth. I will work on me. I am be single and I love it. And when you get to this point, that's when the right one comes in. That's, that's how it goes. So I feel like somebody is, is healing. They're healing from bitterness, from anger, from resent. And somebody absolutely has their guard up from allowing new love to come in. <clears throat> to grow, to prosper. Now, there could be something that is happening today. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm having a hard time all of a sudden. There could be some communication that comes in that is harsh, that uh, causes a little bit of chaos in your life. 
maybe there's a contract that ends abruptly, okay, with this lineup and leaves you single, whether it's today, tomorrow, last week, or something like that. Maybe this is what has happened. Maybe there was an abrupt ending and somebody is still healing up, healing from it, whatever. But there is something that is could be happening today. If, I mean, if you look at this one lineup right here, there's something that could happen that could make you upset, make you angry, make you um, feel overly emotional even. You know, it could cause um, some, some chaos in your life. So just be prepared that there could be a a rude awakening that comes through harshly that, you know, involves a contract breaking up. Okay? So just keep that in mind. But I think that you have the skills to discern the situation and handle it properly, whatever it is. Um, let's clarify these. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Ooh, believe. Now, this is a sign of Taurus, but you need to believe. You need to listen to your inner guide. It's about having faith and trust that what you want is coming. Believing that you can manifest it. Believing that it can happen. That's what this is. This is about believing. Okay? And clarify healing family issues. Zoe, go outside. Yeah, somebody has been in a situation that was unjust. Um, they were treated unfairly. And now you, you are being called to heal from it. Even if you didn't get an apology. Even if you... You know, whoever you were dealing with didn't take accountability for their actions. You know, this betrayal that you're holding on to, all it's doing is, is, is it's hurting you. It's hurting you. You need to take those swords out of your back. And open your heart again. Stop closing yourself off. This is closed off. Somebody is really, 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 really needs to heal. It may be a little bit emotional. Whatever happens over here, it may cause um, some tears. You may feel like it's unfair, whatever it is. Just saying. I'm going to clarify this one. It may. It may cause some tears and it may feel like it's unfair. So whatever happens, whatever, it looks like there could be a breakup, okay? There could be of a partnership or a family situation, whatever. There could be a, a split, whether it's uh, family members or a relationship or a job or whatever. It could be, you know, there's going to be some sort of fated event that causes a split. And there could be some tears shed because this isn't fair. Why is this happening? Blah, 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 blah. Those are normal emotions. Love being... Love is the foundation of your existence and you're just as worthy of receiving as you are of giving love and compassion. While love can be a beautiful emotion, it's equally a form of energy that propel propels you through life. The magician reversed is... A tricky situation is tricky. You could be dealing with a tricky individual that is lying, that is manipulative, that is has some some tricks up his sleeve or her sleeve, you know, and this is knowing because see what this is now this is over this. Whatever whatever faded event that is happening is happening because you deserve love. Somebody has been dealing with somebody that is dishonest, deceptive, manipulative, and a liar. And the universe, the tower in the world card are universe cards. 
is going to split up this contract because it's not it's not honest it's it's, it's not real it's, it's deceptive because you deserve love you deserve to receive so anyway that's what I have for today talk to you later